Jen, hello. Stacy, hi. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Hello, Jen. Presh, hi. Thank you for being here. Please double tap the screen while we wait for people to get in here. I appreciate it so much. Hello, Sparkle Heart. Hi from Colorado. Press from Colorado. Thank you so much for being here. You're the best. Rowdy Ron. Hello. Shorty, thank you so much for the ice creams. Press, thank you for the roses. Tony, hi. Hello, Jim. I appreciate you, Shorty. Hi from the ocean. Tony from the ocean. Are you a mermaid or are you a squid? How are you, Presh? I'm doing good. How are you doing? How are you today? Tracy, hello. Taz, welcome. I'm a mer thing. <laughs> Just a mer thing. Hello, Lyra. Aisha, hello. Aisha. Aisha official, how are you? A mirth, a mirth thing. <laughs> what's what's the other half? <laughs> Doing good. Alara, Alara, hello. Anna, welcome. Kevin, welcome. Hi, Amy. How are you, Kevin? What you got going on? Falani, hello. Karen, hi. Stephanie, welcome. What's next? Good morning, Felina. Brooklyn, hi. Kevin? Elizabeth, you fix your autocorrect right now. Coming up in here and saying Kevin. <laughs> Tucson, Arizona, hello. How are you? I'm good, Kevin. Oh, you're saying hi to the other Kevin. <laughs> the glamorous, goofy thing. You so much for the fall. Jennifer, hi. Annalie, hello. Tucson, I'm doing good. How are you doing tonight? Hello, Angela. What's wrong? Ron H., hello. Elizabeth, I thought you were calling me Kevin. I didn't realize we had a Kevin in here. You've got a question for me? Well, hit me with your question. Everybody who's new here, click the follow button. I appreciate it so much. Double tap the screen. Click the star. I don't know where they've moved the star, but click it. Become a Love Ranger. It's only one Lunchable month. And you'll get love next to your name. Just like Alyra. And you'll get to use cute emotes, just cute, and brunch daddy. And I'll follow you back. And you get a Love Ranger color live in front of everybody. And you get to join the super secret Love Ranger lives that only Love Rangers get to watch. Georgia, hello. Hello, Miriam. My, my favorite Southern girl. Um, I think when the series ends, we're going to do a Love Ranger live. So we can talk about the, the series finale. And speculate. Emma, hello. Where to start? Multiple names in today's episode? Yes. <laughs> yes, she gave me a fake last name. Her her name, her her name is real, but her last name is fake. She gave me a fake last name. Quick question. Episode nine. When you text from the bot number, did she reply and did she know it was you? I don't know if she knew it was me. So I didn't buy a phone number. What I did, Amy, was I went to like Google Voice and you can choose an area code. So I chose the area code of that matched her area code, right? So the phone number that she gave me, I text with the fake number saying Jess with the new last name I found or no, Miss new last name question mark as if I as if there was like some emergency and I'm trying to get a hold of her. And she was like, oh, wrong number. So the second phone number that I found, I said Jess Contini with a question mark. Both both of them answered to Jessica. But both of them were like, mm, wrong, wrong Jessica. What do I value most in a relationship? Uh, a good communicator, 100%. A good communicator and empathy are the things I value most in a relationship. That was a chipper hello. Of course it was Miriam. Michaela, thank you so much for the follow. 
Shauna, I I don't drink beer. Have you ever watched the the television series Angle? No, I haven't. Okay, but she texted her with a fake number. Yes, she didn't know it was you. I think she might have had had an inkling it was me. She might have had an inkling that I was onto her, or that it was one of my friends. Um. But after I texted her with the fake numbers, she text she texted me and she's like, I understand you you want space, but you're you're acting weird today. You know, because I hadn't talked to her up, up to that point. I've kind of just been like leaving her on red all day after I told her I'm gonna take some me time, which was me going straight up me, like I like I said in the series. Like I was d digging to the depths of the internet. Um, reverse searching images, everything I could do to try and try and crack this code. And then I finally text her, and as I text her, um, the blue app deleted their, deactivated their account. So I was like, "What a coincidence! You're getting scared. You know that I'm on to you." I'm shocked. The, the dedication she used to try to sway you in her favor. She had a whole family of blue apps. A whole family. A whole family with fake last names. Like this last name she gave me is made up. It's a made up. It's a made up name. Like that should have. That should have been my first red flag. Is when she gave me her full name and I put it in Google and nothing popped up. I'm like, nothing, nothing. Like your dad's a doctor. Can't find him anywhere. That's weird. Um, you also work in the medical field and your name's not showing up anywhere. Anywhere. That's weird. Like not even a LinkedIn, nothing. It was it was odd. She had to have known the jig was up at that point. Yeah, she was. She, I could tell she was nervous. And I feel like, like I didn't I didn't have the answer yet on on um, Thursday night, or when it was either Wednesday or Thursday, either Wednesday or th Thursday when we got into the fight overbooking the flight she deleted her tiktok which i should have i should have then and there been like that was very serena blue eyes of you <laughs> to do <laughs> hello hello jess jess loft house how, how are you thanks for being here Okay, I'm playing the live audio while, uh, while I'm in the bath. Tomorrow's episode is going to be 10 minutes long. 10 minutes long. <laughs> like, it was longer than 10 minutes, but I had to trim it down because the maximum you can post on TikTok is 10 minutes. Tomorrow's 10 minutes long, and TikTok's going to be, what, what the fuck are people doing watching this 10 minute long video? Is this... Is this something that happened to you? Yes. It's it's a real story. It's my real life. Um, it all went down on the 26th, 27th of May. The 20, 26th of May was when ever, everything went down. So tomorrow's episode is a recording from the 26th of May, which was, what, like a week ago? A week and a couple of days ago? Is the blue app the bird? No, not the bird. The other blue app. I don't think I don't feel like anybody uses Twitter. <laughs> Does anybody actually use Twitter? Anonymous, am I white? Yes, I am white. Like your purple lights, thank you. Hi, Hannah. I've been there. He lied about the name and in age and location, and he had been married for 13 years. Yeah, that's another thing. She lied about her age. She told me she was 34, she was 31. So she said she was like mid-30s for some reason. Kenzie, thank you so much for the follow. Sorry you have to be treated like that, but I know how you feel. Well, thank you, Jen. Star, Star, Ermi, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Blue eyes again. Did Melanta, hello. My big question is, this is what is she, is she doing now, I wonder. Lisa, hello. Um, I can answer that question tomorrow night. I can't answer it tonight. Miriam, but tomorrow night I can answer that question. I'm new to the episode thing. A recap, please. Well, they're all up. Uh, well, not all of them. Episode one through nine are up. Um, I finished editing episode 10 and 11 today. 
Tomorrow I'm going to shoot episode 12 and 13 and I'm done. It's a wrap. 12 and 13, especially number 13. I'm going to put a lot of effort into episode 13 because it's the final episode. I have to put a nice little bow on it, you know. And I just, I'm happy all of you have loved the, loved the series. And I hope that I can do the series justice with my ending. Hello, Irini. How are you? Hello, cutie bird. Are you from McDonald's? Because McDam. <laughs> what makes your car look like that? Jen, thank you so much for making that car. You shake its ass. And I'm going to follow you back. I appreciate you so much. I followed you. Um... What makes my car look that, like that? For one, can cars be in space? We're literally in space. This is the love ship. Um, click the fall button if you're new. And this is um, a projector. A link tree in the bio. Go to, go to my Amazon store. Everything I use to live stream, including this light, is in my bio. In my Amazon store. Kathleen, thank you so much for the fall. The story has been so wild. It has been wild. And I'm glad that you have been enjoying it. If I was on the edge of my seat yesterday, then today I'm on the floor. <laughs> Good. Good. Um, tomorrow's cliffhanger isn't as bad. But then, but then my cliffhanger is going to go back. <laughs> Probably wanted to seem seem more more mature more mature to you. Maybe. I mean I'm 31. She could she could have just said she was the same age. Like she's still um technically older than me by like two months. But um tomorrow's cliffhanger is more so of a closure cliffhanger for the viewers who have followed along from the beginning. So you're gonna want if you make it to the end of episode 10, which is 10 minutes long, you're going to want to watch episode 11. And then you're really going to want to watch episode 12. And then you have to watch episode 13 to get a little little kiss on the forehead as I end it. I got to give you guys a nice little kiss on the forehead then. I have to. I have to. She lied to you. Jose, thank you so much for the roses. I'm new here, so I missed the story. Well, lucky for you, go to go to my page. It's all up. The story is up. Jesse Bay, hello. How are you? The Corgi was so cute. The Corgis are cute. We love the Corgis. Corgi champion. <laughs> Why do guys forget to text back? They don't. <laughs> Nobody forgets to text back. If somebody forgets to text back th that means i looked at the text i read the text and i didn't want to respond because i didn't want to talk to you and i forgot to get back to it <laughs> that's not a good that's not a good situation to be in <laughs> i've not been enjoying the cliffhangers i know i know that you don't enjoy the cliffhangers but um psychologically i have to do it i have to give you cliffhangers to keep you coming back for more. Sorry. Any plans for the weekend? No. Where are you from? I am from Ohio. Where are you from? I understand why they're called cliffhangers. Because they make me want to jump off a cliff. Hello, Daniel. You can't say no to a forehead, guess. I'm probably older than you. Age really don't, don't matter in the story. Yeah, it was weird that she would say she's 34. I don't know why. I don't know. I mean, I do know why. I know, I know why, but in this current moment, I don't know why. I'm like, why did you tell me you were older? Why did you tell me you were 34 when you're 31? <laughs> that was so weird. Why do guys pull away when you so, show interest? So, Grace, somebody who pulls away when you show interest has an avoidant attachment style. We don't want those people. Let them run. Let them run, run, run as fast as they can. Demolanta, thank you so much for the follow. Real Lexi Lou, hello. Hi, Amy. Cliffhangers are <laughs> cringing. Hi, Karen. Faten, thanks for the follow. How's your night going? My night is pretty good. Now I'm I'm slowly going back to normal. 
like I feel like my brain and heart have processed everything and now it's just going back to normal from this point phone call tomorrow tomorrow's the phone call episode yes there's two phone call episodes I had to split them up into two because one of them's 10 minutes long the next one is like seven six or seven minutes long but y'all are going to get 16, 17 minutes of phone call. Nice to meet you, handsome. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Rose, hello. I'll have popcorn ready. I can't wait for the phone call video. Good to hear you're doing well. Um, am I a dating coach? No. I'm not a dating coach, but I'll still give you advice. What's the phone call? Sorry, new here. So the phone call is the final night of Jess and I having a conversation voice to voice. Do you still believe in love? Yeah, I do. I am. I am proof of love. If I exist, like I can't be the only me, you know? Do you think situationships can turn into a relationship? Yes, but they shouldn't. Situationships can turn into relationships, but they shouldn't. I feel like somebody knows if they want you or not. And if you have to kind of force it if you kind of have to beg, if you kind of have to push somebody to commit to you, um, it's not going to end well. They, they're they settling. They don't really want to be with you. So it's just, you're just not going to win in the end. Like a situationship turning into a relationship. Like sure, it might feel like you finally won, but then you get cheated on, you know? Or they just leave you and they're like, uh, I wasn't really feeling this. I feel like... Me personally, if I don't feel like you 100% want me, I'm just not going to waste my time on you. That's where I'm at right now. I'm not going to do situationships. Like, it does depend on what the situation is. But in general, I don't feel like situationships should turn into relationships. What is my favorite food? Um, pizza. Portia, hello. What to do when a guy isn't committing to be in a relationship but says he still has feelings? Um, go find a guy who wants to commit and be in a relationship. Grace, that's what you do. A guy who has feelings but doesn't want to commit to a relationship, um, they want to sleep with you until they find somebody they want to be in a relationship with. Who who wouldn't want you? I mean, I'm not I'm not for everybody. There are plenty of girls who don't want me. Erica, thank you so much for making that Corgi shake his ass. I'm gonna follow you back. Like we're not we're not all mess and distress. Thank you for the follow. We're not all for everybody. You know, there there are girls who are out of my league that want me. And there are girls who are below my league that don't want me. You know, like people are either like us or they don't. It's whatever. It is what it is. So you're available then, right? I am available Ken likes mac and cheese I do like mac and cheese does Ohio have good pizza I'm spoiled here in New Jersey uh no <laughs> like oh Ohio Ohio has good pizza but it doesn't have New Jersey pizza it doesn't have New York it doesn't have Chicago. It doesn't even have California pizza. Like Ohio pizza is passable, but if if I were on death row and they're like, we're gonna get you a pizza from any state, <laughs> I'm not gonna think Ohio. <laughs> like it's it's passable, but it's not like the best. Hello, Cody. You're a handsome guy. Thank you. By commit, do we do we mean marriage or or living together? Commit in terms of what? I oh like Grace's question. Grace's question in terms of commit. She pro she said relationship. 
So she means boyfriend, girlfriend. Jenny, thank you so much for making that Corgi shake his ass. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow you back. I appreciate you so much. Ken is single, looking, looking for a wife. <laughs> Lexi, thank you for the follow. Adelie, hi. I need the story. The story is on my TikTok right now. It was the weirdest thing I've ever done. Don't recommend situationships. I just ended up per yeah. We don't do situationships around here. Ken don't like cilantro on anything. Facts. What part of Ohio do I live? I'm close to Columbus, Ash. Well, the Columbus area. Hello, A. I need a relationship advice. Please, butterfly, I got you. My situation should kill me. It's not worth it. I'm out. You're you're one hundred percent right. I'll make you the best pizza ever. Pull up, Jen. Want to be my long distance boyfriend? Of course, Amy. <laughs> my boyfriend broke up with me on Sunday. Ghosted me on Monday, and Monday night said he only want to talk night and we're long distance that does that mean he found someone new <laughs> i mean probably if your boyfriend broke up with you ghosted you and monday night said he he only wants to talk to you at nighttime what's going on in the daytime he is he dating girls in the day is he just is he just giving you the nighttime and while he sees what else is out there and then when he finds somebody else now you don't even get the nighttime don't be settling for crumbs, butterfly. No caterpillars settle for crumbs. You're a butterfly. <laughs> Absolutely not. Ditch that boy. I know I know it hurts, but consider it consider it a breakup. Like don't hold your breath. If you want to keep him in your life and still flirt with him, fine. But don't let him play you. You know? You you can you can allow him to think that he's pulling one over on you and play into his little nighttime game. But butterfly, you need to be out here finding a man who's going to give you morning and night. We're not we're not settling for crumbs. <laughs> it's all about the lasagna, Kenneth. I just watched today's episode. <laughs> now I'm confused. <laughs> Good. What are you confused about, Miriam? Emergency pizza care package is necessary. <laughs> is what you're saying? <laughs> yes, Jason. Thank you so much for the fall. Hi from Davao City, Philippines. Well, hello. You live in Michigan? What does it mean when a guy doesn't put in the effort, but you do? He's not as interested as you are, Grace. Alan, hello. How's the air quality in Ohio with the wildfires? I haven't noticed a change, but I'm like at the bottom. I'm not up there by Canada. You're absolutely adorable. Thanks, Amy. You're single. Ellen, what is it about summer coming and exes trying to sneak back around? I, I feel like um, exes come back at all seasons, Kiwi Bird. <laughs> Ken is my boyfriend. I mean, if you follow me, I'm your TikTok boyfriend. Mara, thank you so much for the follow. Here in New Jersey, it's currently very unhealthy and looks like the apocalypse outside. Yeah, I saw some videos in New York today. It's it's orange. So crazy. He's saying that talking to me daytime distracts him. He's a college student, but I, I think it's an excuse. And to, like you said, he finds someone else. I, I do too. Let him. I'm nobody's second choice in that. Yeah, let him think he's winning. Let him play his little game and you play along. But in the meantime, meantime Butterfly, find somebody else. He literally, He literally broke up with you and then came back. He's just keeping you on the back burner. Like, how does this happen? My brain hurts trying to understand. I like your smile. Thank you. Uh, Miriam, my brain hurt trying to understand. Like, I'm finally coming to terms with everything that went on. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. And that's why I had to do in parts. Remember where the, where the breadcrumbs lead. Hansel and Gretel. Exactly. To a witch with a thick ass. <laughs> um, if I <laughs> if the breadcrumbs lead to where they do in Hansel and Gretel, so, sign me up. <laughs> I'll go to that that candy house with the witch with the that thick peach. 
I saw the orange pegs, it looks crazy. Remind, it, remind him of that beautiful, you deserve better treatment than that. Kayleen, hello. Just wanted to hop on and show some love. You're great. Thank you so much, Adelie. These questions, <laughs> what, what we all want to know is, can you be ours? I am, I am yours. I'm your TikTok boyfriend. That's what I'm here for. Love the ambience, so cute. Thank you, Capri. <laughs> Thank you, Capri Sun. Rose, hi. I forgot I had to submit an assignment. You're distracting me. Sorry. Uh, the love ship is your assignment now. Yeah, nice to you. Thank you, Lala. So can I still like Jess? She was sweet. So it was heartbreaking with all this. You can do whatever you want. God bless you. Thank you. I was going to write him a goodbye message. What do you think? No. Play his game. Don't write a goodbye message. Just play his game. Play his little game. Let him think he's winning. But you're going to win. Irfan, thank you so much for the rose. Um, if you want to like Jess, like Jess. Thank you for, for the little heart guy, Irfan. Um, like, this, this series is not a revenge thing. I did, like... <sighs> I feel like if you've watched my series so far, I don't, f I don't feel like any of my ep episodes give a feeling of anger, like I'm angry at anybody. It's just I'm telling a story, you know. I don't want Jess's life to be ruined by this, so I'm very, I'm very careful with what I say, with what I don't say, information I give out, you know. Like I'm not trying to end anybody's marriages. I'm not trying to end anybody's relationships. I'm not trying to take people's jobs from them nothing like that i'm trying to i'm trying to tell my story um get my message out there get the lessons out there help other people in a similar situation if they ever find themselves in the situation i found myself in i give so many tools in my series to help that i use to help crack the code and crack the case but it's, it's not a revenge thing and do does my anger come out a little bit in tomorrow's episode, yes. In the phone call between the two of us, yes. Because in the phone call, I the phone call didn't happen within my head. I'm going to be making a fucking series about this. You know, the it, the whole reason the phone call was recorded was because she tried she tried to do the I I tried to call you but you didn't pick up thing. And then she is like, well, I'm just I'm just going to FaceTime you, say I hate you, hang up, and never talk to you again. I'm done if you don't trust me. She tried to pull that shit. So, like, she called and I picked up, and it was it was clearly a, a phone held up to a screen of Jess saying, I hate you, but in a flirty way. And in, in my head, I'm like, it doesn't make sense for you to say you hate me in a sarcastic, flirty way. If just two minutes ago you say you say you're gonna call me, tell me you hate me, and then you're done. Like why are you why are you flirting with me? You know what I mean? Why are you flirting with me if you're done? You know? So I'm like, no, I'm rec I'm recording everything. If like if this is what you're gonna do, I'm recording everything. So the co like the convers the conversation is real. It isn't like Let's have this conversation for my series. It came from, you're not going to gaslight me. You're not going to manipulate me. You're not going to be over here trying to pretend like you're FaceTiming me when you're not. So I'm recording everything at this point. Like it was, it was protection for my own sanity, you know, for my own, my own mental health. And if she was going to try that shit again, I could go back. I could just go back and watch it. I wouldn't, but it, I'm just old and and quit with the long messages a long time ago. Miriam, you're not old. Miriam, aren't you only like 28, 29? What if Jess is a six-year-old man, though? Cat, <laughs> did you not watch today's episode? Jess is a 31-year-old woman. She's a woman. She's 31. The name she gave me was real. Her last name was fake. She gave me a fake last name. Okay, I'm done with the bath. New question. Did you find her dad under the real name as a doctor? No, she gave me a fake last name. She gave me a fake last name, you know. 
she presented me as an unmarried woman. So if that was her last name, obviously her father would have the same last name as her, being an unmarried woman. Um, her father doesn't exist with that last name. She doesn't exist with that last name. She gave me a fake last name. Great haircut, thank you. I didn't get a cut. Thanks. Josie, hello. <laughs> Good night, kiwi bird. It, it doesn't. It's you telling a story. Thank you. Race a girl, you'll wake up tomorrow regretting that. Facts. It's heartbreaking. I'm sorry it didn't work out for the two of you. Well, thank you. Why do you suggest I play his game and not completely this in myself? I mean, if you want to, if you want to be done with him, go for it. But if you want to play his game, if you want to keep him in your life, you can do that too. If you want to distance him, just ghost. Or you, or you could just be like, look, I need somebody who's going to be all in. And if you're not going to be all in, I'm going to see myself out and go find somebody who will be and leave it at that. And then he can either have a wake up call of like, okay, I'm all in or not. You haven't showed anger. This situation is frustrating and sad. She's not a well person. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like, I can't, I can't put a word to the emotion, but I try myself to explain in, in the final episode. I try my hardest to explain my emotions because I don't have a word for it. I want to give him another chance of your time. He knows, I'm sure. They usually always do. Facts, Mara. You're not using her real last name? No. No, I'm not putting any of her information out there. No, Sarah. Sarah, thank you so much for the follow. ADH, hello. Just watched a new video. I'm so invested. Good. Good, Lexi. Hello, Sierra. Alejo Nine Ender, thank you so much for the follow. She's doing stuff like this. She's probably not doing too great mentally. So your week long disappearance was not <laughs> going to Cali, or did you go? Uh, my week long disappearance was me processing all this and writing and editing. You know, like anytime I was gone it was mostly mostly to be there for jess today's story installment as well good did she send videos with her voice did her voice sound the same so sierra she had a video on tiktok of her voice saying something and i saw that video maybe like a week before all this went down and I would, t I, I thought the same thing. I'm like, that voice sounds a little bit different. So I would, I would tell her like, Hey, say the, say the thing you say in your video. And she wouldn't do it. I'm like, why won't you do it? Why are you making a big deal of this? She's like, you're making fun of me. I'm like, I'm not making fun of you. Say it. <laughs> like I was like, no, it's, it's cute. Say it. And she wouldn't, she wouldn't repeat the phrase in the video. And that should have been a red flag to me. You know, I, I should have took that as she, she thinks I'm onto her. Because there, there has been like things here and there that just made me feel, feel off. Hello, original. Lovely little squirrel. Hello. Is there more since this morning? Have I missed anything? No. I'm new here. What's going on, guys? Hello, Natalie. I'll feed you popcorn and watch romance with movies with you. Well, thank you. That sounds like a dream. That's all I ever want is popcorn and romance movies. Okay, but why did she make herself older? I don't know. I mean, I know. I know why she made herself older. Um, I can give you that answer tomorrow. I can't give it to you tonight. I know why she made herself older. But I can't tell you. 29 is old. I'm 43. 29 is, yeah, 29 is not old. Are they actually her photos and videos? You'll find out tomorrow. Answer me. <laughs> Women say one thing and then do the opposite. Narcissists can be females too, of course. Facts. How did you hold on this long? Um, on paper, it's six months. But like I said in my timeline video, like the first two months, I just didn't care. 
So the six months was actually four months I held on to. Like the first two months, I wasn't really taking anyone serious that I was talking to. Like I was open to whoever I was talking to in November and December. And um, I guess just November, December. I was open in November and December to see where things went with whoever I was talking to. But I wasn't really emotionally invested in anybody. And also January is like... I'm I'm getting there, but I'm not there yet. So it was really four months I was holding on. And the reason I hold on, like I just, I explain in my why Jess video is just because of the combination, you know, she's a real, she's a really pretty girl. And I get there's really pretty girls everywhere, but she was a really pretty girl who's also respectful. You know, like she didn't, she didn't go to clubs. She didn't go out and disappear, you know, and that's a, that's a big thing for girls that look like her. You know, like they'll go out with their friends and you can't get a hold of them. If you try to text them, they'll call you, you know, controlling or say, stop blowing up my phone, like that kind of shit. Very emotionally abusive kind of women that look like that. She wasn't that kind of person. If she was out with her friends, you know, she would check in. She would send selfies. You know, she, she would text me while, while she was out checking in, telling me she's thinking of me, thinking of me and like how she can't wait to get home and call me and talk to me. You know, she was a really good communicator. And most of the time she was in bed by nine. She was, she was in the video games. Like she, she was a little bit nerdy. Like she was, she looked like that mixed with somebody who's ready to be a wife, somebody who's ready to settle down. And that combination is just hard to find. You know, it's like you get one or the other. Like you can, you can, there's plenty of women who are ready to settle down, but they're not necessarily my type. And the girls who are my type, like they're 40, they could be 45 and still not ready to settle down. They still want to go to clubs and sh shake their ass and all this shit and disappear. And I don't want that. <laughs> you know, I want the girls who look like that, but the girls who act like they want to be a wife. And she was, she was the combination. And I'm like, I'm going to be there for her emotionally while she goes through her mom dying, essentially. You know, I'm going to be be there for her while her mom is dying. And it's worth it to me because this is such a rare woman. Like this, this combination is so hard to find. I would be, I would be stupid to just let this go. So that's why I held on so long is because somebody who looks like that, who actually is a good person is so fucking hard to find, <laughs> you know, especially in your thirties. Like it's, it's impossible to find somebody like that. So I'm like, I don't care that she's all the way in California. I don't care that I, that I have to sit here and hold her together while she's going through all this. Like, it's going to be worth it in the end because she's such a great person. Like a, like a unicorn person. Like women like that just don't exist. So I was willing to take the chance to have what I th who I thought was going to be my wife, my forever person. Thank you. I'm not bad for a dinosaur. What are your thoughts on feminine energy? I think feminine energy, masculine energy, both sides are necessary in all of us. We need to be able to step in one or the other, depending on the situation. You know, I feel like the goal is to be in the middle and then step into our feminine, step into our masculine when we need it. <laughs> like 20 years behind on chat. I'm, I'm catching up. Sorry. Conflicting slash jumbled emotions are normal in your situation. Time to calm your mind. Isn't he always years behind on comments? Yeah, I go, I go on rants sometimes. You're a hopeless romantic, I am. So her to see it was hard for you to un understand your emotions. Yeah, because it's just like a girl like that is impossible. Impossible to find. <laughs> But tonight will be the night that I fall for you over again. <laughs> she didn't want you to know her her real self, so she made up a life, age, and name. Yeah, the, the, the first name is real. Middle name is real. Last name was fake. Well, I love you, and I'm proud of you, and we all just want you to be happy. Well, thank you, Sarah. That's so sweet. And you hold, hold on because you excuse their behavior. Hello, Capricorn eyes. I'm real. Sorry to bother you about my issue, but when, when he asked for a break 
and I said, I don't want this back and forth relationship. So if you want to break, we can break, break up. And he was crying. Why would he cry if he didn't care about losing me? I'm so confused. So butterfly, sometimes people want your supply. They want access to you, but they don't want you to have access to them. They don't want to commit to you, but they still want you in their back pocket. They still want you in the back burner for emotional supply to be to be called beautiful to be called handsome to sleep with you even you know like they want you available for them but when you need them in your life hey we're on a break you know so he's he's given himself the power to come in and out of your life whenever he wants but you don't have you don't have the same access to him that's why people take a break people take a break to see what else is out there you know, it's a it's a get out of jail free card for cheating. That's all a break ever is. You know, if somebody actually likes you, if somebody's your person, they're not going to take a break. They're going to figure things out. If some somebody who actually loves you, they're going to look for solutions and not excuses. Ken, Amy is a hot single mom, and her name wasn't on my list. <laughs> Ken, that's literally that's literally too good to be true. It is too good to be true. I know it's too good to be true. That's why I'm like. I will, I will go through hell for a woman like that. I will, I will go through anything for a woman like that. So I'm like, I can commit, I can commit to this girl and see where it goes. And then her mom goes into a coma and it's like, well, I will hold you together to see where it goes because a woman like this does not fucking exist. And here it is in my hands. And she's, she's like obsessed with me. This is, this is perfect. <laughs> like, I'm not going to let this go. So th that's why I held on so long. That's that's why I didn't like give ultimatums and let her go. And I'm like, figure your life out. Like, figure your life out. No, I'm I'm hanging on to this for dear life because this <laughs> this doesn't exist. Amanda, hello, Marie, hi, Barbie. Thank you so much for the follow. Ken read that I am now 45. <laughs> right? he, he's crying to get you to stay so he can continue to hurt you. Facts. I've literally watched every Catfish series and I hope I get answers in part 10. You will. Part 10, you're getting the answers, Amanda. I'm right here, not impossible. <laughs> Makeup by Bree. Thank you so much for the follow. People are sometimes good actors. Facts. I'm so sorry to hear that her I know I know she is fake ten thousand guys and my DMs are all fake. I'm confused too. I broke up with my boyfriend. What can I do? What are you trying to do? Thank you so much. Eyes eye opening. Yeah, that's why the, what the catfish did, cause she, cause she knew it was too <laughs> too good to be true. But y'all, like literally my dream woman. You know, my dream woman is the anxious attachment men mentality looking like a dime piece. I just need an anxious queen. And that's exactly what she was. Like, that's all I've ever wanted. Like, if that woman lives in Antarctica, I will move to Antarctica for that woman. You know, <laughs> that's what that's that's my dream. <laughs> I just want I just want a dime piece who's obsessed with me. And is a good texter, a good communicator, and doesn't go out with her friends with a for sale sign on her titties <laughs> every fucking Friday. <laughs> That's all I want. Just talking for two weeks. Should I be concerned if we were not talks on Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me. Um... I don't take anybody seriously who can go more than 24 hours not saying a word to me. Like, you can cut, you can come in and out like the waves, whatever. But if you want me to take you seriously, we need consistent, everyday talking. And our talking has to be leading up to something. No, like, no pen pals. No pen pals. Like, where is this talking leading us? And also, every day, we better be talking. It's been night here can't wait for tomorrow's episode stormy thank you so much for the follow kayla hi how are you kayla 
You said anxious queen, hi. <laughs> That's literally all I want. I just want an, an anxious queen. I hate being an anxious attachment style, it hurts. It does hurt until you get a boyfriend like me who understands you, you know? Like, I am the perfect boyfriend for somebody with an anxious attachment. I got you. I'm patient as fuck. I'm a good communicator. I don't mind reassuring you. Like, I am your dream man. So come get me, anxious queens. Anxious queens who are dying pieces, your husband's right here. Come get that reassurance, boo. Come get those forehead kisses, I got you. <laughs> come come get your man who doesn't go, go to the bar and hit on girls every Friday night. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm totally thinking that's why, why I'm a voice actress for a book. Better start home buying warm clothes now. That's exactly who I was to this guy. I didn't realize being an anxious queen is good. I love... I love an anxious queen. Um, being... Anxious people love the hardest. They just do. And I appreciate them. You're gonna you're gonna feel like you're this awful person if they have an avoidant attachment style. They're gonna hate you and belittle you and make you feel like you're controlling and you're this and you're that. But not me. I love it. I love if you're an anxious queen. I love everything about you. <laughs> Come see me, Amy. Where are you from? I I must have been a dog in my previous life because I really want to. <laughs> <laughs> This one, this one guy, not the one I told you about, talks to me like he wants me to fall in love with him. But he's 23. <laughs> Eliza, you know better. Hello, beautiful eyes. Thank you, Stormy. Hi, Sarah. I agree. I am big on the good, the good morning, good night text. Same. Ken, 90% of men don't understand. I know. But that's okay. I will be... I will... I will take all the anxious queens for myself. If you have an anxious attachment style, come get your husband. <laughs> let's 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 all let's all just live, live together. <laughs> Do you like to date older, older, younger, or same age? Yes, <laughs> all of them. Um, five plus, five below, or same age. I was going to say the same. I got an anxious attachment and sometimes people think I'm a burden. Yeah, they do, but I don't. I would, I will never think my person is a burden. I need a king. I need that in my life. How do you know if a guy is just being nice to you because he's a good person or like you, likes you? Eliza, I've answered this question for you before. Um, we're not nice. Guys aren't nice. <laughs> If we're nice to you, it's because we like you. Unless unless you make the move. If you come up to us and we're nice, then you have questions. But if we come up to you, if we're pursuing you and we're being nice, we like you. So if you're the pursuer and you come up to them and now your question is, are do they like me or are they just a good person? Flirt with them. And if they flirt back, they like you. It's that simple. They don't flirt back if they just say, oh, thank you. Scratch them off the list. Also, it's important to do work on your anxious attachment. Yeah, we should we should always be working on ourselves. Even if we have a secure attachment, always work on yourself. You're a rare one. I am. I am rare. You know? And I thought Jess was rare. Hence, me hanging on for so long. <laughs> He tells me things like, I, I love how you always try to make everyone happy. I'm so thankful to have you. You're a good person. <laughs> that was such a tease. <laughs> Guess I'm moving to Ohio because no one in New Jersey <laughs> wants my sorry ass. <laughs> Anxious queen here and no guy has ever liked it. I love it so much. Me, thank you so much for the follow. I've been dating this guy since 10 months. He hasn't asked me to be his girlfriend. Any advice? Yeah. It, it's it's time to have the conversation. What are, what are we doing? 10 months is way too long. Um, 
are are we going to commit to each other or do, or do I need to go find somebody who's who wants to commit to me? You know, I'm out, I'm out here looking for my husband. You know, and we're not, <laughs> we're not even in a relationship yet. Like what are we what are we doing? It's definitely time for that conversation. But get your answer, girl. Get your answer. If he's weird about it, there's your answer. Yes, every insecure attachment is from trauma, Susie. Yes. Anxious queen here, and honestly, I, I need understanding. I know. Anxious women are genuine, unfortunately. <laughs> New Mexico. Aussie high. I've never been to New Mexico. You know how many times an anxious queen has heard this? But I mean it. You can <laughs> you can ask Jess. <laughs> How old am I? I'm 31. Sister wives, yes. Let's have a bunch of anxious queen sister wives. Be careful what you wish for. That's all I want. That's all I'm wishing for. Just send me an anxious queen. God, send me an anxious queen. <laughs> How old are you? Actually, I'm 31. It's hard to even guess. You you look young but armature. I also have an anxious attachment style, but I'm working on it by understanding why. Krista, thank you so much for the follow. Can you write an essay on why anxious queens are good? <laughs> Send it to my boyfriend <laughs> asking for a friend. <laughs> okay, Ken advice. Reginald, I got you. Ken's got me questioning everything. <laughs> I had a date with that guy tonight. And I told him I liked him. And he didn't say he liked me as well. Should I dip? Um, voice note me, Reginald. Send me a voice note of ex exactly what happened. Like I, I need to hear I need to hear how you said it and then how he reacted. So send me a voice note. Just was rare. Just not the good rare. <laughs> um Z, hello. My my Philly, thank you so much for the follow. Baby girl eighty nine, hi. <sighs> You live in New Mexico? I flirted with him and then s said, just kidding. And he said, I know you're just playful, so I don't know. That's him. Hi from South Carolina. Baby girl from South Carolina, hello. How anxious are you looking for? Um, I can handle any amount of anxious. I'm going to zoom, zoom in a little bit. That's too much. Too much zoom. Y'all don't need to be up my nostrils. Um, there's no amount of anxious that's too much for me. I can handle it. Um, avoid, how much avoidance can I handle? Zero. Zero percent avoidance. If you're anxious, give me a hundred percent. Let's go. Give me a hundred. I will take a hundred percent anxious over 100% avoidant any day of the week. I don't know what the outcome of episode 10 was, but Jess' attitude in the Snapchat mess was not nice. It wasn't. <laughs> um, her attitude was not nice. <laughs> You're about to, um, episode 10 got a lot of F words. <laughs> if a guy says he's gonna push you in a pool, is that flirting? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, any sort of, any sort of aggression, if a girl says anything aggressive towards me and we're not fighting, She's flirting, you know. If a girl tells me she's going to smack me in the face and we're not fighting, she's flirting. If a girl says she's going to push me in a pool, we're not fighting, she's flirting. Even if we're, even if we're flirt fighting, if a girl says she's going to push me in the pool, she's flirting. You're going to love again. Baby girl 89, I'm good. How are you? I don't think anybody's ever said they were going to push somebody in the pool and not flirted. I don't think it's possible to say I'm going to push you in the pool and not be flirting. Have you heard a familiar song after a breakup and it hit different? Yeah. Yes. I've got a I've got a good example. Let me think of what it is. Because um What's the song called? Like, I, I can sing it in my head, but what's it called? Oh, 
I think it's called Takeaway, Heart for Takeaway. Like, Before You Love Me, I'm Gonna Leave You. Or no, Before I Love You, I'm Gonna Leave You. Like, I would hear that song and it's like, oh, this is a nice little song. And then you, <laughs> and then you date and avoid it, and or a narcissist, and you're like, oh, <laughs> this song is about narcissism. This, <laughs> this song is about an avoidant attachment style. It's not a cute song anymore. Run from the avoidance, yes. I'm always anxious. So you like morning, afternoon, or evening hellos? I like all of them. Hi, Ken. I can't hear you because my little one is sleeping next to me. I haven't seen you. Hi, Linzarella. Wave to me. <laughs> Poor avoidance just need understanding and therapy, but they avoid it. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> I know I know avoidance need understanding. <laughs> I ain't trying to understand them. No, I don't have patience for avoidance. I tried. Absolutely not. Never. Never again. Can my love life is just call me? More more F bombs, I'm assuming from her, yeah. I mean, I definitely dropped some F-bombs in the beginning, but the F-bombs are mostly her. I'm just over here listening to Lonely by Justin Bieber on repeat. Aww. Heart like a truck. Wish I could stay in chat and listen. Lindsay thanks for being here. They say they're going to push you in a pool while knowing you can't swim. That's not flirty. <laughs> That's extra flirty. <laughs> If you know I can't swim and you're like, I'm going to push you in that pool. I'm like, that girl definitely wants to fuck. <laughs> what is the car light? Um, so Cass, the car light link tree in the bio, go to my Amazon store. Everything I use to live stream or make videos is in my Amazon store. I believe love someday I'll, I'll find my half. Same. Maybe this song is about running because you think you'll get hurt eventually. No, before before I love you, I'm going to leave you. Before I'm somebody you leave behind, I'll break your heart so you don't break mine. Is an avoidant attachment style song. When I was in my 20s, my ex sang End of the Road by Boys to Men. <laughs> Hi from Tennessee. Tessa from Tennessee, hello. Arrest me, sir officer. Okay. I got you. Hello, Heather. Enjoy listening to two whole minutes on my voice later. <laughs> Thank you, Reginald. Can I got a plan? Okay. Should we ask if you can swim first? No. <laughs> Just push them in. <laughs> Just kidding. Am I in the Amazon store? I'm not. But you can book a phone call with me or FaceTime with me. Link to you also in the bio. You're definitely right about things starting to get real and interesting. Spicy in episode nine, yeah. Did you just say something about swimming? Because I can't swim. Well, Miriam, I'm gonna push you in a pool. <laughs> the two, the two guys I like that are best friends, Damon and Stefan, and I'm Alina. Two guys I like that are best friends, Damon and Stefan. Are you talking about the the vampires, the Twilight dudes? Or the Vampire Diaries. Kalia, thank you so much for the follow. Can you be my boyfriend? Click the follow button and I'll be your TikTok boyfriend. Dating advice, Pex, I got you. What kind of advice you need? Yo, hey, hello, Kenzie. Thanks for being here. <laughs> I love me the don't. I mean, I'll jump in and save you. If you can't, if, if I push you in the pool and you can't swim, I'll definitely save you. So you don't have to worry. Dating advice, Kenzie, I got you. What what advice you need? The vampire diaries, thanks. Lean. Hello. Can I be your best friend? Sure. I'm gonna live out my vampire diaries dreams. Two hot guys. <laughs> I end up with Damon. Is that his name, Damon? I thought it was Damien. Damon? Is that it? Has an excellent response to the boyfriend <laughs> request. Is it normal to develop anxiousness over losing a significant other? 100% normal. Johnny, it's it's normal to 
sometimes want to not leave bed for two months after losing somebody you love. You know, like losing a significant other is like, is in a way like them dying. You know, it's like experiencing a death. Like you, you have to mourn over even relationships sometimes. And sometimes you experience a crippling depression over a relationship, depending on how deep, how deep you were, how deep the hooks were. I've been there. You know, I've, I've definitely, I've definitely been in breakups where I wake up and wish that I haven't. You know, I've definitely been dis disappointed waking up. So it's perfectly normal for you to feel that way, Johnny. But it gets better, I promise. You're up so late, I am. I'll probably die from a panic attack before I actually go under. Oh. If you can't swim, how can you how can you say something? Oh, I can swim. I'm not like a professional swimmer, but I can I can swim. Ken, come on, you gotta watch it. Watch the vampire diaries? No. I can't. I can't do it. Danny advice, don't learn how to swim so Ken can rescue you. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with the Vampire Diaries. It's actually my red flag. <laughs> it's a good opportunity to bond with yourself. Do you like the movie Twilight? Um, yeah. I I like the Twilight movies. Sorry. Um, they're really good. <laughs> they're not really good, but they're they're decent. They're decent movies. And I really I really like the ending. Like I didn't see that coming, and it was really good. They did a really good job with, with the ending of Twilight. Um, not the whole weird imprint thing. That's that's weird. The whole imprint thing at the end was weird. But the fight was really clever. It's like going through withdrawals exactly. Because you're, you're literally addicted to somebody who you love. Basically two, two guys fight over a girl. And she switches from one brother to... Oh I know. Oh. You're talking about you're talking about um, Vampire Diaries, yeah. Um, I know j just a little bit about Vampire Diaries because my ex girlfriend was also obsessed with it, and that's what she would do when I was when I would play video games. She would watch Vampire Diaries. Like that's that's that was our alone time. It was like we would split up. I'm gonna play I'm gonna play video games while she's like in my bed watching Vampire Vampire Diaries. What state am I from? Ohio. I started Vampire Diaries and watched the originals and watched the others. And obviously my my smart ass is playing video games just make, making fun of the dialogue the whole time the whole the whole time. Like, oh oh Damien, you came back for the 50th fucking time. Like she would she would cry over Damien or whatever his fucking name is dying. And I'm like, girl, this is the ninth time he's died. He's gonna come back. <laughs> Because I watched Vampire Diaries for a year now, every night before bed. I think the pain of a breakup come, comes comes from where it could have been. Hey, brother, you eat some Skittles today? I did not Alexander. Wait, so you like Twilight but won't watch Vampire Diaries? There's like ninety seasons. If Vampire Diaries was a movie, if it was like four movies, sure, I'll watch it. But it's like 20 fucking seasons. <laughs> I can't commit to that. The books are better detailed. Christy, hello. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure they are. I agree. The, the, fight, the fight was good. I'll watch it often on YouTube. You're beautiful. Thank you. And the music was good in Twilight 2. I tried watching Vam Vampire diaries and couldn't get into it what games do i play all of them i love every single game ever i like i like storytelling i like experiencing things i'm more of like a single player game than i am like a competitive player like i want i want to experience the art of video games so i will i will give almost anything a try like i, I used to review them on youtube how old are you i'm 31 lauren what are your go-to video games? I don't have go-to video games. When I finish a game, I move on. Because there's there's just too much. There's too much there's too many games that have been made. There's too many games that come out all the time. So I don't have a go-to game. 
I play them and I move on because I want to experience as much as I possibly can. So I think it's cool. Like playing a video game is like in a way experiencing somebody else's dream. Like that that's how I see it is it's interactive art. It's literally like stepping into a dream world. So I don't just like play Call of Duty and 2K. Like I will play those games, but just for like a week. Like I'll I'll play the new Call of Duty for a week and then I, then I move on. Like I want I want to experience as many people's visions as possible because I just I just love storytelling. I love visual art. I just I just want to see it all. Like it, it's it's video games are so interesting to me. My, my man and I are, are going through temporary temporary loss and getting through it together, hoping for a happy ending. Well, Capricorn, I hope you have a happy ending too. Kristen, you're from Ohio. Well, thanks for being here, Kristen from Ohio. How's it going, Megan? It's going well. How are you? Do I like living in Ohio? Yeah. Um. I'm. I'm. I'll adapt wherever I am, so it's. It doesn't matter where I live. I'm happy anywhere. He actually really, really said this guy got into my head and he ghosted me. Worst part, as we work together, that is awful. How old are you? I'm 31. I've already watched the entire show two times. <laughs> Think I'm going for a third. Damien. Thank you, Damien. Youngstown? Oh no. <laughs> That's Youngstown. <laughs> Youngstown's where my ex lives. Stefan is a good guy. Talking to my ex again after a three month breakup and dated for four and a half years. How should I go about things? Talking to your ex again after a three month breakup and dated for four and a half years. How should you go about things? Um, if a power dynamic needs to be switched, do it. Like this is the this is the perfect time to take your power back. If you were the more anxious person, um, go into it with a more a more secure mindset. If you were the anxious one, Julie, if you were the avoidant one, which I doubt you were, since you're in here, not too many avoidants. Fine. Not too many avoidants care about making a relationship work. So I'm assuming you were the anxious one or the secure one. Just uh, go back into the relationship with the ability to set boundaries. Talk about your needs. Needs that aren't being met. So really, really work on boundaries this time. Go, go into it with from a place of power. You like those emotional types? I do. I do like emotion, emotions. Let's do a bowl team, Stefan or team Damon. Damien, Damon. Um, I feel like I'm team Stefan. Good night, handsome. Amy, good night. Thanks for being here. Stay humble and message me sometimes. Do you like the TV series Friends? I never watched all, all of them, but when an episode would be on, I would enjoy it. So, yeah. Hi, Super Ken. It's Lena. Nice to see you. Lena, thanks for being here. I'm pretty sure we all go for the red flag guy, so probably all of us like Damon. <laughs> I'm Team Stefan. Mario Kart, Wii Bowling, and Miss Pac-Man. You love me? Well, thank you. Thank you, Lena. I haven't played a game in a while. My last one was Smite. I'm the same way. Once I finish a game, I never <laughs> play again. Miriam, you play video games too? Do you like Lost Boys? I prefer that over Twilight. I've never seen Lost Boys. You like me? Well, thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Washington, D.C. Lena, thanks for being here. Yeah, we deserve it. Anthony needs us, and we need him. Who's Anthony? Damon said it best when he said, I'm a bad guy that gets shit done. <laughs> oh my God. Damon would say that. Have you ever played Nintendo? And if so, what's your favorite game for that console? My favorite Nintendo game I've ever played, probably Mario Galaxy 2. But I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom. I haven't finished it yet. Tears of the Kingdom is an amazing game. Like, I, I'm blown away with how much you can do in that game. Like, I'm, I'm working on a review for it right now. I'm taking my good old time on it. And Tears of the Kingdom is, like, it's... 
it's like master masterpiece level. It's really good. And Nintendo knows how to make make good games. Can you say hi to me? Of course I can. Hi. Us Ohio and Michigan people are built different. I think he's super behind on comments when I go live. It's super I'm getting I'm getting there, Ashley. I'm sorry. April, thanks for the follow. Megan, thanks for the follow. Rose, Ross, and Rachel. Yeah, I love video games. I have a cute pink controller. You would, Miriam. I also, I probably have the exact same cute pink controller as you do. I have a, I have a, um, I'm a PlayStation person. I don't have the pink PS5 controller. I only have blue and white. But for the PlayStation 4, I have the rose gold controller. And it's adorable. I'll use that when I play PC games. Anthony's your son. Oh, okay. In Vampire Diaries, I'm Team Enzo. <laughs> he was so sweet to Bonnie. Team Claus. I got issues. <laughs> Meanwhile, I could play the same game over and over and never get sick of it. I cannot. <laughs> There's just too much. There's just too much to play. Have you ever played the old school games like, like Bubble Bobble? I have played the old school games. I'm actually... I've actually started to go back and play through the ones that I missed. If that anxious, is that anxious queen of me? I'm, <laughs> it's comforting knowing what happens in the game. Aw. But can we talk about Sega? <laughs> Miriam, are you a little Sonic girl? You're hot, thank you. Ken, as a tip for you, if a girl says she likes Vampire Diaries, Ask her which guy is her favorite. I'm not doing that. I don't need to break my heart like that. When Klaus' voice gets all deep and his eyes get intense and angry. Wow. That's the pink one I have for the PS5. You have the pink one for the PlayStation 5. I'm jealous of you. I want that one. How important is communication when you first meet someone? It's super important because nobody hides, nobody hides their communication. You know, it's not like oh, this person's such a bad texter. And they're like, surprise. <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually really good at communication. <laughs> like, you do have to build up when it comes to texting. Like, you're not going to slide into the DMs and then all of a sudden you're texting each other all day. You know, like, you're going you're gonna to get to know somebody and texting once a day is going to turn into texting twice a day and that's going to turn into texting every six hours and that's going to turn into texting every four hours. And that'll turn into texting every hour. And that'll turn into texting every 30 minutes. And that'll turn into texting every second of the day. And having to excuse yourself when you're about to be busy. But when it gets to that point, that's when you're going to see the communication skills. Like when it gets to the point where you're talking to each other all the time, how good are they from excusing themselves from, from the conversation? Like, hey, I, um, I'm going into work. I'll miss you. Talk, talk to you later. Or I'm going to do this with friends. I'll talk to you when I can and they actually do talk to you when they can like they do check in while they're with their friends that's when it's really going to matter and that's what you need to look for I wouldn't not get into a relationship with somebody who doesn't do those things who doesn't excuse themselves when they're going to be busy for the day when once you get to that point once you get to the good morning good night text you you're probably at the point where you're talking you're talking all day and if you're not excusing yourself when you're about to be busy all day if you're not checking in when you're with your friends, it's not, it's not going anywhere. I wouldn't get into relationships with those people. Back up. That's what you need to look for when it comes to communication skills. But nobody is... If it's to the point where you're talking all day and they go out with their friends and you don't hear from them all night, and especially if you don't hear from them until the next day and they're like, good morning at 11... They're not, they're not waiting for it to be a relationship for them to suddenly be good at it. Rose gold is beautiful. Rose gold is beautiful. Have you seen the secret documentary? I have seen that. I've been filthy so. Um, I've never played Bubble Bobble. No. I've never given it a try. Communication is important throughout every phase of the dating process. Facts. Hello, Rhea. Surprise. I love Stefan. Damon is cool and all, but Stefan's my kind of lover boy. 
texting is just easier. Or turns into a four month everyday messaging. Nah, if y'all are texting every day, um, you should you should be moving towards a relationship. Like if if y'all don't if y'all don't have the relationship figured out in one to two months, move on. After almost a year, it slows down. We should be living together. Like my my three and a half year relationship, we were living together like four months in. And when I was with her, we never texted because we, <laughs> we lived together. <laughs> but when we when we would be apart for um work, whatever, if she would have to travel for work or I would go back to Ohio for a little bit for work. Um that's when we would text. But when, when we live together, we like never text each other. There need, needs to be a service where you can send a guy your combos with another girl for their for their perspective. So you mean to tell me you've reviewed Peppa Pig games, but never Stardew Valley? I don't like Stardew Valley. <laughs> I tried. I tried so hard to get into Stardew Valley. I don't have patience for games where you have to grow a garden <laughs> i don't i don't have it in me like i really liked minecraft and minecraft is kind of like that but minecraft i played minecraft at a time in my life where i had the patience and time to do that but when i got to stardew valley it was at a point in my life where i was reviewing video games and i would that shit would pile up like i haven't paid for a video game since 2014 they're they're just sent to me i get them all for free and when Stardew Valley came out, like it was in a pile of like 20 games and I pop it in and it's like, this is just so slow. I don't have the time to go out here and talk to all the people in the town, go to caves and get this and that and grow fucking carrots. <laughs> Stardew Valley is not for me and neither is, um, what's the, what's the Nintendo one? Um, what's the Nintendo one with the, with the island? Why can't I think of it? Like, I understand why people like those games, but they're just not my kind of games. Get subscription model. They're going to have to get a hold up. I mean, that's my thing. It's a super fun game. We can't live together. Never, Rhea? You can never live together? I thought you meant everyone in chat should be, should be living with you. I mean, you guys can. Everybody come live with me. He has to come out to meet me and my kiss. I I think that I'm moving towards a relationship. We text three times a day. What if you're texting every day, but not all day? Like half of the half of the day and he's too young for you. <clears throat> have your fun, girl. If he's too young for you, have your fun. But don't play yourself, Eliza. You have a kid. You have a kid, Eliza. Don't play yourself. You have to you have to think about them while you're having your fun you know like have your fun but think about your kid you need to be out here finding a father figure but have have your fun a little bit have your have your post narcissist fun eliza be wild but <laughs> but in a couple months smack yourself <laughs> you got a kid <laughs> think about them cat thanks for being here <laughs> the redeemer here is that you ace star, so I guess I'll stay. Smash. Uh, he has kids there, and I have kids here, and we both have exes that <laughs> don't want them in their town. <laughs> y'all, look, y'all gotta stop letting exes control your fucking life. That's the most annoying shit ever. Like, <clears throat> that's the most annoying thing with like dating a single mom is when they let their exes dictate their life. I fucking can't. I can't. No, we do. We do parallel parenting around here. We're, we're not doing co-parenting parallel. Um, fuck your ex. I don't give a fuck. Oh, and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I'll come live with you. I'll start packing. Okay. Miriam. I don't I don't need another kid. 
want to come to Colorado and we, we can meet up? <laughs> Kiss her? Ew. She's, she got a dad, though. He's just not around, though. <laughs> I don't live in an apartment, Kelly girl. I've got a house. And he... And he, he has to work so it's hard to text all day. My ex is mean. He... Th yeah, that's weird, Rhea. That's weird, but he's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. <laughs> Let him be mean. That, that boy needs to move on, Rhea. Can you answer my question? Um, what was your question, Stormy? You want to come to Colorado and we can meet up? I don't know when I'll ever be in Colorado again. That's what I mean. That's insane. Restraining or race app. Yeah, he's not going to do it, though. Y'all wild exes don't exist to me. Exactly. Like, I could not imagine. I could not imagine letting my ex dictate who I'm dating, where they're at, where they live. Absolutely not. I did Tara, Tara read Big Mistake. She's like, I don't usually do pregnancy, but it's coming out. Eliza, I've got good news for you, Eliza. <laughs> Um, I'll do a tarot reading for you, Eliza. I'll do a better one. <laughs> I got you, girl. Let's see. What, let's see what the cards say for your pregnancy. Thank you so much for the little sm smushy thing, Nico. All right, Eliza. I'm gonna do a tarot reading card for how many kids you're gonna have. Zero. You're in luck. I'm the only legitimate tarot reader on this app. Zero kids for you, Liza. Hello, buddy. I feel lucky my kid's dad is 100% out of the picture. That's pretty careful. He told me to put a whole thing of eye drops in his ex-girlfriend's sofa. <laughs> he didn't pay me. What the fuck? I even have kids with one, but he's he's got no say in my life. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, that's such a red flag if I'm seeing a girl who lets their exes dictate any part of their life. Absolutely not. No thanks. <laughs> no pregnancy. <laughs> no cards. <laughs> He's messing up. No, these are tarot cards. I already have one, though. This is for the future. <laughs> Let's go tarot reading for how many I'll have. Um, some you're gonna have <laughs> reverse children. <laughs> that means children are gonna have you <laughs> instead. The guy I'm talking to has a 16 year old son. This is the best and only tarot reading all I've, I've ever seen. Enrique, Keta, thank you so much for the follow. Why do you have Uno cards in your car? Cause I'm I come prepared. That's why. You know why I keep Uno cards in my car? Because girls love talking shit of how good good they are at Uno. <laughs> but they ain't played against me. You know? That's that's every every woman's flex is how good they are at Uno. Yar? You're good you're good at Uno? Let's go. Cause I've never I've literally never lost Uno in my entire life. Tell me why my future can. Alright, Rhea. You'll be in my final reading. Hang on, do a reading for me. All right, Rhea, two kids. Miriam, how many kids are you going to have? Skip. <laughs> You're getting skipped on, Miriam. Can tell me how many more children I'm going to have laid on me? Reverse. Children are going to have you. Just my luck. I don't have to worry about my ex dictating me anymore. I'm just thankful I didn't get a wild card. Do you see any kids in my future, Elizabeth? Nine kids. Have fun with that. I have a six-year-old son. He's the best. We're reading a Stephen King book together. Mini book club. That's adorable. Corgis for readings. Already oh, wrong. I have three. It's more. Two more. <laughs> How many kids do you think I have? I don't know why. Nine, Elizabeth. Um, Stormy, you're going to have eight kids. 
If you build anything over four for me, I'm getting tubes tied. All right, cat. Children for you. I have two bonus kids. Maybe you're not wrong. Children for you, nine, cat. Yikes. I'd get those two tubes tied. But the, ter the cards never lie. So even if you get your tubes tied, you got nine eggs that are going to be poking out. So sorry. Portia, hello. <laughs> For me, one. <laughs> the cards never lie. Um, I need to go to bed. I love and appreciate you all so much. Click the follow button if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, at SuperKenGaming. Goodbye, everybody. If you want to FaceTime with me or a one-on-one -on -one phone call with me, link tree in the bio. Book a phone call. Goodbye. I love you all so much. Thank you for all the queries tonight. Thanks for the reading. You're welcome. Bye, everybody.